This is a short review for uh, the Rock River Arms carry handle. And, you know, it's definitely one of those cooler carrying handles. Now, I'm just going to say it straight from, from just no misunderstandings. It's where the carry handle goes. You cannot really carry this thing as a carry handle. So in its own use, it's kind of pointless. But it has a couple neat things about it. Now, installation-wise, it's very, you know, very basic. Uh, just the standard thumb parts to it. Thumb, thumb dials, whatever you want to really call them. But where it gets neat is I'm actually going to take the camera off the stand here. Is on um, Zoob here as well. Oh, sorry about that, guys. And, uh, you know, is the fact that it has the rail here on top. So, you know, if if you want to mount an EOTech aim point, anything of that sort on here, and then have, you know, like a quick attach, obviously, it's to iron sights, you have that choice right from the get go. All right which no one really offers, which makes it unique again. And then I already took it off here, but there's a little thumb dial again thing. So you have a very small storage compartment here, which I really think was completely freaking useless, no offense, but it makes it look cool. We'll kind of screw it in here a little bit, one hand, if I can do it. But, you know, it adds, it adds some look, but it has a spring in there and everything. It's like battery storage. And you really can't fit any real batteries. I think it might have been made for like an aim point battery or something like that. But, you know, the EOTex, you don't really need any batteries anyways. You know, it adds a, it adds a very neat look for an area or carry handle. And then obviously it's sight adjustable. Just similar height and elevation in the rear. So, and then of course it comes with a peep sight. And then the standard, some people refer to it as night sight. I just call it open. But, uh, it's pretty standard. Uh, you know, usually, I think it comes on, they got a $750, $800 model it comes on. And it's pretty darn cool carry handle. Is it completely usable for carry? Like, actually, what it is being a carry handle? Hell no, I'm not going to say it is. If you plan on buying like an EOTech in a way it's good and then what I'm going to mention here is let's say you have an EOTech and you have that front side post I hate that like I obviously cannot stand that because that front side post just gets in the freaking way of the EOTech or aim point some people like it on there some people don't mind it I got a friend that actually he bought an EOTech I'm like dude you need to like cut that off because that's just like in your way and he's like oh man I don't mind it I'm like I think it kind of like obstructs the view Again, my opinion. But with this, you you get that sight like it's a a riser you could call it. You know, some some people buy risers for an EOTech or an aimpoint or a scope, just so that way you don't get that front sight block in the way and you're still able to use iron sights, you know, but not with most risers. So that's kind of why this was developed. And definitely, you know, I will give it some props for that. Uh I think that's really about it. So, it's very, very well made, very hard steel. Um, maybe it's billet. I'm not really sure on the specs for that, per se. There's not a whole lot of info from their site about it. So, one thing I will warn you of, though, I, uh, I know there's a lot of clones for these. So, make sure it has the Rock River Arms uh, logo on there. There's a lot, a lot of these that you'll see for... 30, 40 bucks, and you know what? They're shit. That's a flat-out warning. See, I thought this was really cool. I had a 762 by 39 upper. I actually sold that on Gumbroker, uh, I think about a month ago. And I included the clone one because it was an, an A3 flat. You know, I didn't have any extra optics. I wanted included with it for the price that I decided to sell it for. And I listed, I can sell you a Colt site, a Rock River Arms site, a... Uh, EOTech, I can sell you pretty much whatever you want with it if you want to pay a decent price. A little bit lower than other people, you know, obviously. But if you want to pay, you know, a decent price, I can sell that. But I'm going to include this clone Rock River Arms. And then I gave the waiver that, or sorry, disclaimer, not really waiver. Uh, very disclaimer is what I meant to say. That the Justin knob here, 
it wobbles back and forth a little bit. It's pretty much an airsoft is what they are, those replicas. And it wobbles. And like, this stuff in general was pretty solid. But just like the cap cover. And obviously I didn't mess with it because I didn't want it to like break. Uh, but durability wise, those clones suck. And they're set up differently as well. Even though they look like similar like this, you know, you have the end plate and it latches. They were differently set up a little bit. Are all the clones like that? I'm not sure. But at least the one I had was. So, again, beware of clones. But if you're interested in getting one and you're going to use it as a riser for a site, whether it's in Eotech, Aimpoint, etc., fucking awesome. Definitely agree with you if you have that fucking uh, front sight post. Definitely works great. Now, if you have a flat top optics ready, let's say it's a DPMS because those are easy to get your hands on, and I don't really approve of them, but they're easy to get your hands on. You want sights, and you still want to be able to, I guess, mount, uh, you know, e EOTech Aimpoint in the future, or if you plan on getting one, you know what, get some, uh, get some flip sights. Uh, you know, Magpul makes a really cheap ones that you can get. Or you can buy Troy Industry uh, folding, or if you really want to, you can get just the like back rear sight and the front one. You can get them, get them with quick adjustment knobs, or you can get them with like the screws and nuts and whatnot. Many different options out there. So, but again, as a riser platform and iron sights, it works great. But that's about all I see the actual use of it for. So. I'm going to leave it at that, but uh, it's a very, very neat uh, addition again. Just kind of give it a better view. Oh, but pretty neat. Uh, I gotta, again, I'm just going to leave it at that. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer it for you, but not again, not sure what's made out of. So if you guys want to, feel free to co contact Rock River Arms about that. They just there. So I think it's RRA.com or RockRiverArms.com. But uh, again, very, very cool, like, carry handle, so. And if you want to, feel free to comment or subscribe, and have a good one.